guys, it's Kayla and welcome to my last first kiss. This is currently the newest Voltage app that's out right now, so I was really excited to play it. I'm going to be alternating between this and Be My Princess. I hope you guys don't mind, I was just really excited. I played the prologue and I couldn't help but film it. So I hope you guys enjoy, let's get started. It was the autumn of my senior year of high school. I've always loved you, hero. My first true love and the feelings I carried since I was young. Even now, just the thought of it makes my heart ache. Thank you, I'm glad to hear it. The man I'm speaking to is Hiroki Iniwa. He's five years my senior and he lives in the same apartment building as me. I put my heart into that confession and all he does is smile. But I'm afraid it won't work. Perhaps if you were a little more grown up, Kayla. Thanks to the rain that suddenly begun to fall, I can't quite make out his words. I'm sorry. Those words alone echo in my ears. Why are you crying over something like this? I hear that voice and suddenly I don't feel the cold rain pouring down on me anymore. Eato, you're gonna catch a cold, dummy. Oh, Eato brought me an umbrella. Ayato Hidaka, we've known each other since we were three years old. The moment I see his face, I'm swept with such a feeling of relief that I can't stop the tears from flowing. Eato, he rejected me. Stop crying. If 10 years pass and you're still alone, I'll take care of you. Mm, that dream really took me back. Even though it's been six whole years since Hero rejected me, so let me play it to the end. Just this one song. Oh, the trailer for Ayato's movie is on. That must be why. Looks like I forgot to turn the TV off. There on the screen I see Ayato, all grown up. Back then I never imagined he'd become an actor. I glance at the clock. It's already past 11 p.m. As soon as I got home from the office, I guess I just passed out. I have to get up early tomorrow, so I better hurry up and take a bath and go to bed. The next day. Look, I'm begging you. Just come back already. Wait, I'm serious. In front of the entrance to my office, there is some kind of disturbance happening. I work for Kokonoka, a major food supplier. When I take a good look, I see the girl being shouted at as my friend, Sayori Konda. Sayori, what's wrong? Oh, Kayla, good morning. Don't worry about him. Let's go in. She links her arm around mine and turns her back on the man. Come on, Sayori, wait. Nope, sorry. Anyway, I've got work to do, so... You're just gonna leave it like that? Suddenly, the man's face darkens, and he raises his hand towards Sayori. Oh, no. On instinct, I jump in front of her. He's gonna hit me. Ow! No matter what your reason, it's not nice to hit a lady. When I open my eyes, I see a man in a suit, twisting the attacker's arm. Who is he? Did he just save me? Shit, let's go already. I'm done with that broad anyway. My, you're really a piece of work. When the man turns to look at me, a shout escapes from my lips. <laughs> Hero? Oh, Kayla, is that you? No way, this is just like the dream I had last night. What is Hero doing here at my office? Kayla, you know him? Uh, yeah, we lived in the same condo. I'm Hiroki Inua. I'm going to be working as an assistant director, starting today. Assistant director? That's a pretty big deal, but Hiro's only 29, isn't he? Oops, I better get going. I'll catch you later. Thanks again. Ah, here. Before I have time to say anything, Hiro disappears into the elevator. He's so cool. I'm jealous, Kayla. I'd love to get to know a guy like him. He came to your rescue when you were in peril, just like a prince. Hey, who was that other guy anyway? He seemed pretty hung up on you. He's not a stalker, is he? If he doesn't let up, you need to notify the police. Mm, it wasn't really all that one-sided, but to be honest, I picked him up at the bar last night, and we ended up spending the night together. You, you mean that you found out you had a deep connection and talked the whole night? At a hotel. Gee, Sayori, you can't do stuff like that with someone you just met. I didn't think you'd get so worked up about this. That's beside the point. You're the one who did something bad here. I don't think it's right to get that close to someone who you haven't even gone on a date with. Why are you always so conservative? I'm not that conservative. The truth is I've never even had a boyfriend. I don't have any experiences like that. I guess I'm kind of a late bloomer. Anyway, you don't need to stick up for me like that. I'm glad you did, but if you'd been hurt, my body just moved on its own. How about next time you try not to need saving? Yes ma'am, I've learned my lesson. Promise me, okay? Oh shoot, I'm gonna be late for the meeting. Oh yeah, for the 100th anniversary project, right? It's so cool that you got picked for that. The company's really depending on that project. When you put it that way, I wonder if I was really the right choice for it. 
but this is a huge opportunity, so I'm going to give it my all. You can do it! But that aside, Hiro is pretty cool back there. To go out of his way to save a girl he doesn't even know, he really is like a prince. I'm starting to wish I was still with him. I try to relax to calm my quickening heart and make my way to the conference room. I've been selected as the head of the 100th anniversary project. I look forward to working with all of you. The palpitations I had just so carefully quieted whipped up again triple fold. That's right, the assistant director is in charge of projects like this. Mr. Iniwa is an outstanding individual who has single-handedly seen to the success of a variety of projects. We have a great hopes for you, Mr. Iniwa. Thank you, I will give it my all. The future of our company rests on the shoulders of all the employees in this room. I want everyone on the project to give it 110%. Yes, sir! That means for the duration of this project, Hero is going to be my superior. The focus of the project will be improving our company's image and expanding our businesses. I want to show that Kokonoka can have a hand in more than just the food industry. As the centerpiece of this endeavor, I'd like to reach out to a celebrity, someone who already has the public's eye and can serve as the face of Kokonoka. I already have a few people in mind, but if any of you can think of someone suitable, I'd like to know about it. Without acknowledging my discomfort, Hiro moves on to explain the project requirements. I don't know if my emotions can handle us working together. I've got some big news, Mika. Oh, Kayla, welcome home. As soon as work ends, I pop in at Kong the cafe bar on the first floor of my apartment. What's got you all worked up? Mika, the manager, gives me a kindly smile. What? Hiro got recruited at work. Kokonoka is what? Hiro? You mean your ex-hero? Uh-huh, and to make things worse, he's been assigned the same project as me. Sounds like this was written in the stars. Stars? Just as I'm about to tell Mika about what happened this morning, the man sitting next to me gives a deep chuckle. <laughs> what did I say that was so funny? What a creep. I Ichia? You're still just a virgin maid, aren't you, waiting for a prince to ride up on his white steed? What? Where's all this coming from? Hey, that's sexual harassment. Now, now, keep it down. Think how troubled the other patrons will be. Tch. Ichiya Misono. He's lived on the upper floor of my apartment building since we were little. Me and him get along as well as cats and dogs. He's always talking down to me like this. A total jerk as always. When Ichiya moves out of his parents' place, I thought I'd never have to see him again. But then he came crawling back. Just then, someone pats me on the head. I agree with Ichiya about the noise, but what he said before was just plain rude. Mako! You're still sweet on her, Mako. Don't get agitated just because they're talking about Hiroki. Just chill a minute. Mako, that is, Makoto Morimachi, is two years my senior. He's always been like a brother to me. And there beside him is Ayato, who was my neighbor until I was 16. Between graduations and parents moving away for work, the two of them vanished. It wasn't until several weeks ago that they both returned to Tokyo. I understand Mako moving back to this building, but why are you here, Ayato? The show wanted some photos of me as a child, so I came here to borrow some from Mako. The photos are going to be on TV? Which photos? These ones. Doesn't he look cute here? Aw, how cute! Childhood flashback! Oh, this brings back memories. This is from when we were all at the firework festival together. Oh, no hero? Hero's five years older than me, so he didn't usually play with us kids. Let's see, from the left there's Ichiya, Takumune, Ayato, Kayla, Riku, and Makato. Yep. Even Ichiya's in there, that's rare. Well, my apartment's roof was the best spot to see fireworks, so you all probably came up here. Y'all were pretty cute. How old were you? Taco is here, so maybe the summer of sixth grade? You got your arms on each other's shoulder. You must have been good pals. When we were in fifth grade, Takamune Kitami moved in across the hall from Ayato's family. Even though we were the same age, we never had a chance to get close enough to call him just Taka. But it wasn't like that at the start, right? Yeah, they got in a huge fight. Seriously? I can't picture that. Right after the fight, he took him up to the rooftop. We were all pretty surprised. The roof of this building? Yeah, it was our secret base. Bringing someone up there was a mark of true friendship. That's definitely something a kid would do. It's nice to see old friends, though. They'll stick with you through the ages. But it must have been lonely for you, Kayla, when your parents got sent abroad. It's lucky that everyone made it back here. It was a little lonely living by myself for the first time. You dumbass, that sort of thing is super lonely. <laughs> oh, that's right, Riku's come back to the building too. Really? Riku? Riku Marumachi is Mako's actual younger brother. He's a year younger than us, so he was always tagging along with Mako when he came to play. I was worried whether he was getting on alright by himself, but when I stopped by, he was doing surprisingly well. 
Somehow or other, we've all made it back here, everyone but Taka. It would be amazing if he could come back here too. It's your lucky day. Taka said he'd be coming here soon for an away game. Really? Then this can be our reunion. You two sure like acting all buddy-buddy. That Takamune is really something though. He seems to be his team's star player these days. Seems like one of the league's scouts really took a liking to him. Really? I guess Taka's famous now too. Hmm? Famous? Oh, that's right. Hey, do you know if he's accepting the scout's offer? No, he said he still wasn't sure about it. Do you think he'd be up for joining the Kokonoka soccer team? What? Why would you care about that? Hiro said that he wanted to recruit a celebrity to be the focus of our new promotions. He said we would be pushing to expand our boundaries beyond the food industry. I wonder if we really can. I see. Well, if Hiroki's involved, won't that make negotiating with Taka a bit smoother? That's right. I better go tell Hiro. I hope he's pleased with my proposal. Look at you, all drunk in love. Th this is just for the sake of the project. I guess wanting to show Hiro all the best of me is... No, that's all it is. Are you falling in love with Hiroki again, even after he dumped you? Huh? Did you ever tell him you loved him? Yeah, I was still in high school then. He told me, maybe when you're a bit older. If you were in high school, then I guess Hiro was already grown up, right? But a five-year gap shouldn't be that big of a deal anymore. Do you think I'd have a chance now? Well, you are an adult now. I think it's worth giving it a shot. I wonder. The night before I was reunited with Hiro, I had a dream about him. Maybe it was a sign that I should try again. It's the day of Taka's away game. Hiro and I are waiting at the stadium where Taka's supposed to be. I figured I'd see you when I stopped in at the old building tonight, Michelle. I never thought I'd see you here, and with Hiroki no less. We'd like you to reconsider your transfer. To the West Tokyo FC, which Kokonoka is a sponsor of. We can offer you a much better environment than you have currently. Yeah, to be honest, I was kind of planning on leaving my current team. Ayato and everyone, they're all back here now. If you come back too, it'll be just like old times. The transfer talks are already in the works, though. Are we too late? Well, I'll definitely bring up the idea. Really? We will be able to lay out all the details for you later. For now, good luck with the match. Alright, and thanks for this. I've got a good feeling about Taka. Let's try and do this negotiation right. I'm really glad you thought of this. Nice work. Thank you, Mr. Inoa. We leave the stadium and Hiro drives me back home. It's normal, isn't it, to be driving together like this? Sitting like this? We're a bit closer than I thought. This makes things awkward. You can still call me Hiro, you know, just like always. But we're on the job. Work's over now. I want to be able to call you Kayla, too. Mm, okay. I really was surprised, you know, to find out that I'd be working with you. I'm so used to seeing you in a uniform. I didn't recognize you at first. Ah, oh, his smile is just like I remember it. That's the smile of Hiro I fell in love with. How's everyone doing? I've been seeing Ayato on TV a lot. Pretty good, actually. Everyone's back in the area now. Mako went to the US to study abroad, and he's back now. I think he's still in grad school. Makoto's 26 now, right? So I guess he'd be working on his doctorate about now. What's his major? I don't know the details, but it's something to do with food research, I think. Wow, and Riku? He should have graduated by now, but I haven't actually seen him since he's been back. I see, everyone's all grown up, aren't they? Hearing him mutter those words, suddenly my heart begins to race. What about me? Well, of course you're grown up too now. I didn't even notice it before, but you've become awfully beautiful. An adult, Hiro really thinks that I'm adult now. I bet he doesn't even remember what he said to me that day, six years ago. When I think of it, my heart begins to pound. Minko was right, this is different from how it was back then. Are you seeing anyone now? Not now, and not ever. Then is there anyone you have feelings for? Yeah. Why would he ask me something like that? Could it be he's interested in me too? Well then, that's perfect. What do you- Just then, Hiro stops the car and puts it in park. While my thoughts were elsewhere, we've arrived at the familiar apartment building. Well then, I guess I'll see you at work tomorrow. Wait! Since our reunion, all I've been able to think about is Hiro. He's just as cool as he was before. No, even cooler. If I don't stick my neck out now, I'm going to regret it. That thing we were just talking about. Which thing? The, the one I have feelings for. It's you, Hiro. Huh? I guess I still really like you, even now. I said it. My heart begins to race, and a single moment seems to stretch out over an eternity. Thanks, I'm glad to hear it. 
He smiles at me just like he did on that faded day. Well then, would you rather we go to a hotel? Huh? Did he just say a hotel? Don't do it! Don't do it! As I stare at him, dumbfounded, he wraps an arm around my waist. He pulls me close and whispers in my ear, What you're saying is that you want to be with me. If that's what you want, I'm more than happy to oblige. Know that! Just as I finally understand his meaning and start to object, someone grabs me with strong arms and, and pulls me from Hero's grasp. What's going on here? Eato! Oh, Eato, long time no see. That's cruel of you, Hiroki. Kayla's not that kind of girl. Excuse us. Eato pulls me away with his arm around my shoulders like he's protecting me from something. I can only walk forward. My legs move mechanically. Eato takes me up to the roof of the building, the place that used to be our secret base. Here, take a deep breath and drink this. Thanks. Eato hands me a juice can. It's filled with cider. The taste reminds me of our childhood days. It's mildly sweet, with a slight burning feeling. Heh, <laughs> this is just like the last time. Only this time it isn't raining. Alright then, you can call me an idiot if you want. You idiot. For all those feelings to spill out, just because we met again, I really am an idiot. I can feel the sadness welling up from the depths of my eyes. My vision goes blurry and hot drops begin falling on my hands, holding the can. You're crying. I'm sorry. He strokes my head. His touch is rough but kind. He gently strokes my cheek and wipes the tears away with his fingertips. Eato. Ring. Oh, sorry. That's mine. Hello? Yeah. Yes, I understand. Thanks, Eato. I feel better now. You seem like you're a little busy, so I'll go on ahead. I stand to take my leave just as Eato hangs up the phone. Hey! I go to start down the stairs that lead back into the building, but just then... Geez, Eato, even now you've got us doing your dirty work. We came as quick as we could. Sorry about this, guys. Here you are, stirring up a fuss again. I really don't get you. And yet, here you are. Huh? What? Why are you all here? Ayato called us here. Just at the top of the stairs, I see Riku holding a large plastic bag. It's good to see you again, Kayla. Riku, you look well. I really have to look up to him now. He's gotten a lot taller. I haven't talked to him at all since back then. Alright, now that we're all here, let's get started. Wait, get started with what? Well then, let's have us a toast. Kayla, are you good with beer? Did you all come here to comfort me because Hiro rejected me? Rejected? You're an idiot, just like I said. You just were looking kind of down. Guess he shot you down, huh? Hunted you for sport? Stabbed through the heart? You know you can't keep a secret from us. We'd have found out eventually. Well then, a toast to a good old secret base. Cheers! 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 While the rest of us clink our beer cans together, Ichiya starts drinking his. Hey, you're a venture capitalist, aren't you? The company president, right? Being uncooperative like that looks bad for you, doesn't it? In business, it's every man for himself. You really chug that, Taka. That match left me thirsty. Huh? Did you open another one? Ah, uh, this is just like the old days. We used to do this when we were kids. We'd get together to celebrate after Taka won a soccer match. Haha, <laughs> I remember that. We never changed, do we? Hey, we've changed. The juice ferments it into beer. Hey, Ayato, let's do the fireworks. Oh yeah, Kayla, come here. Huh? Have you got fireworks in that bag? This isn't the season for it. Well, you always liked fireworks. That's true, but no one's really selling them right now. But we found some. Ayato wouldn't shut up about it. Pick the one you like, Kayla. These guys went to all this trouble just for me. How about this one? Sparklers, huh? You really are simple. We usually do those at the end. I think sparklers are perfect for right now. Here, you take the rainbow one. Is it okay to set off something this big? Don't tell me you're afraid. Ayato lights the fuse and sparks in seven colors begin streaming out. Whoa, so pretty. I'm glad you came to watch the match. You all won, right? Yeah, and the transfer talks went pretty smoothly too. I think everything will turn out well. Awesome! If you could be part of Kokonoka's 100th anniversary campaign, it would be a huge deal. Even if Hiroki dumped you, you still gotta do your job, right? Well, of course. Better yet, I can put all my focus on my work now. Oh yeah, what are you doing these days, Riku? I'm a photographer, of sorts. A photographer? That's so cool! It's not really that cool. I'm still a novice. But didn't you just win a contest? Yeah, but I'm still not a big name or anything yet. If that camera's putting food on the table, I'd say you're pro enough. 
As soon as my rainbow sparkler goes out, four more fireworks appear before my eyes. Ayato, Taka, Mako, and Riku are all looking my way and holding fireworks. <laughs> Thank you. While you were looking gloomy, we were worried. Let's see, which one next? Let's do the snake one. Those ones are definitely cooler than sparklers. You always did like the snakes, Riku. Taka, which one do you have there? As I try to pick between them, there's a big boom behind us. Seriously, Ichia, don't just go setting off the finale all on your own. Was that really the biggest one you got? That was a total bust. We were all supposed to set that one off together. So let's save the other sparklers for last. Huh? I? When did my tears stop? I was just rejected a second time, yet here I am smiling already because my old friends are here. I'm so glad they all came. Looks like we're all out of drinks. I've got some stuff in my apartment. I'll go grab it. Will you be alright going alone? You're such a worry ward, bro. Just get something from Ichia's place. It's right downstairs. Only my mother is living there right now. There's no booze. If you can't find anything, just let us know. Okay, thanks. It's been a long time since I've been on the roof. I haven't had this much fun since I was a kid. Yeah, my mood has definitely improved. Tomorrow I'm going to start with a clean slate. That's what I think as I wait for the elevator. Suddenly, I hear footsteps behind me. Who's? Before I can turn to look, someone's arms wrap around me. Huh? You should forget all about Hiroki. When I finally turn to look, the one I see beside me is... Make your choice. The confident actor, Ayato Hiraka. The ill-natured CEO, Ichiya Misono. The brotherly grad student, Makoto Morimachi. The hot and cold soccer star, Takamune Kitami. The cool young cameraman, Riku Morimachi. Let's go for Ayato. He seems like the main guy on this one. Okay guys, so we're going to start up with Ayato next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this prologue. I really like this one so far. It seems way high quality and really nice since it's the newest one. So I can't wait to see what's in store. If you want to see what happens next, subscribe to my channel and I'll post it tomorrow. Thanks for watching.